Hello everyone, it's Daniel and this might be the craziest test I've done in the past year because I finally have a camera that I can capture 960 frames per second and that means we can uh, measure the input delay and find the differential value of one millisecond or even lower and why I say even lower because we are doing 10 to 20 tests per controller so it's valid even if the difference is 0 0.5 milliseconds for example. So we have two controllers here one is the typical dual sense of course you see I have some uh, replacements here it looks very nice but it's a typical dual sense all right and we have another controller here dual sense edge again i have some replacements attached to it this dark matte front shell and these thumb sticks that look really nice all right so let's talk about the video so what i did here was testing the input delay of analog sticks in fragpunk and why Fragpunk? Because this game can have unlimited FPS and I could get over 270 FPS on PS5 Pro. And we could have VSync off and I think it's the fastest game on PS5 Pro right now in terms of controller response and everything. So what I did here in testing the controller, of course I used another thumb stick so I could separate it from the background easily. As you can see there are some lines. So for this test, here's what we did. We did set the dead zone in Fragpunk to 0.99. So we needed to push this analog stick to a specific point until it starts moving the camera. For these parts, nothing would happen, right? We've tested it multiple times. And based on our test, once we hit this line here, exactly here of course the footage is not going to be very high quality especially that we are recording 960 frames per second but it is high quality enough to do the test once we hit this specific position here let me go frame by frame backward exactly here this is when the signal is sent this is how i made this test and then what do we do next what we do next is looking at this screen to see when the camera starts rotating and then we're gonna count the frames in between to realize to calculate how many milliseconds it exactly took from the moment the signal was sent to the moment the game responds of course there's a monitor delay and stuff like that i will talk about it soon we connected both controllers with the usb cable well, uh, and change the communication method to use USB cable on the PS5 Pro. I did use the front type C port, but the port that is uh, super speed. I mean, the port at the bottom, if you have it vertically. Here's how we made the test. Let's, for example, let's have a look at this one. Here we are at 25 seconds and 35 frames. This is the moment uh, we reached to that specific position of analog stick. And then how many frames it exactly took until the screen started making some changes you see at this very moment yes you see there's some ghosting we can realize yes that yeah it has started moving yes that's what i'm talking about so how many frames exactly we are at 35 and here we are at 55 so it took 20 frames right now let's do calculations 1000 frames divided by 1000 milliseconds divided by 960 frames each frame is 1.04 milliseconds now it took 20 frames right so if we multiply that by 20 it will be 20.83 milliseconds we repeated the same test 20 times for dual sense and uh 20 times for dual sense edge and what we realized at least for this game is dual sense edge is faster and that's because DualSense Edge have a polling rate of 1000 Hz over USB. So that's the reason why these analog sticks, even though they are the same module as DualSense, respond faster on PS5 or PS5 Pro. Of course, it depends on the game. If you are playing Call of Duty or some other games that are limited to 60 FPS, for example, it will be very different. For example, FC25 this 1000 hertz polling rate wouldn't help that much now let's see what we found i shared it on my discord server and here are the final results for DualSense we had 20.83 and we removed the monitor delay and that's about 4.8 milliseconds based on ratings.com uh, I, I don't have a tool to test it myself but rating says it's 4.8 milliseconds so i'm gonna use that and then uh after removing it so DualSense analog stick response time through usb front port on ps5 pro in fragpunk is 16 milliseconds all right what about dualsense edge 
the measure delay was 60 milliseconds, the default, and then removing monitor delay, it's 11.86 milliseconds. All right. So if we, if you are going to see the difference, it's around 4.14 milliseconds faster, right? So we have 750 hertz more polling rate for DualSense Edge. And in this specific situation, in this game, it resulted to 4 milliseconds faster response. But does it mean you will be a better player? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm playing some games with a network delay of over 80 milliseconds, over 100 milliseconds. And sometimes I play much better in 80 milliseconds compared to some other matches that I have a ping of like 30 milliseconds. And that's the thing, this 4 millisecond delay is not going to make you the best player, but uh, a lot of pros care about even 1 millisecond. I mean, no human can tell the difference if I give you both controllers behind the doors and or something. Uh, if you don't know what controller you have in your hand, you're probably not going to be able to tell the difference. But once you know, you will be like, yes, it feels smoother, it's better. But it might be actually smoother depending on the game you are playing because 1000 Hz polling rate and reading the data from the analog stick, you know, we have like uh, 128 stick resolution from the center to each corner. So if you are going from right to the left, that will be like 256 different steps. And when you have a higher polling rate, there is not only the response is faster, but also uh, it's going to register more steps compared to 250 hertz. It's very dependent on the game you are playing and how they are going to take the data. But uh, that's one of the reasons that people feel like the default analog sticks in DualSense Edge feel a little faster or different than DualSense. I think that's one of the reasons. I mean, it's basically a test I made with my custom tools. It doesn't mean it's 100% accurate, but uh, for myself, at least, it's accurate enough to confirm that DualSense Edge is faster, at least in Fragpunk. And in the past, we've done a, lo a lot more tests for other games, but back then we were limited to 240 FPS. And for a time, we were testing with audio. That was a different story. Then we realized like audio is going to be affected by the game delay as well. And then some of the data weren't accurate again. That's why we didn't continue that one. But this is, I think, the ultimate method for me currently because there is no other way or tool you can use on the PS5 Pro directly to read the data. So this is probably the best method to have a 1000 FPS footage. Every frame counts. So that's why many people are switching to DualSense Edge, even though it might not be uh, the cheapest controller or it may not have the best analog sticks and they get drifted as well. This delay, it was at the max push, right? We were testing it at the max push. What about the center? I, I couldn't test that with my current method, but uh, there are some tools I've tested on PC that shows that other controllers that are using TMR and uh, some of the Hall Effect joysticks because of those centering algorithms, they are a little slower to respond when you are going from the center, zero dead zone to like 5%, 10%. That's why like tiny adjustments on this controller, if I'm playing with low sensitivity i can be much better you know and depending on the game how much aim assist you have and everything the typical low sense still good you can use it with bluetooth to get over uh, 600 hertz polling rate but uh, that will be still a little slower than edge and it depends on what you have in your room other devices can interfere with bluetooth sometimes so that's why some people say like let's use it with cable and that two milliseconds of less delay for bluetooth doesn't matter because uh, sometimes they feel it's being lagged or something so it doesn't worth it but in ideal situations where you have only your console and the controller bluetooth is good i'm not sure to say if ps5 pro is going to support 1000 hertz through usb but uh, this is shows edge is faster when being used by 1000 hertz polling rate through usb so I may guess like PS5 Pro or PS5 as well is probably using the highest polling rate, but there are a lot of people that say consoles are limited to 250 Hertz. Let's see what happens in future when I upgrade my testing methods. Maybe I find a way to actually read the data from the console. I don't think if that's possible, I've never seen someone do that because there is no way to do that on the console. We can't install any applications or monitor or something. Let's face the fact. 
Dorsen Sage is better. <laughs> That's it. And I'll see you in the next video where I explain how to get the best settings for your controller and DualSense Edge.